don't do reverse burnouts in all caps and look at what you did dude good morning bernie shout out to the guys here at bmp and cleat for getting us in over here to store bernie over the last few days while i've been in florida uh then we'll store this thing at the hotel so we're gonna get hooked onto it and take it over to the freedom factory right now get them fired up warmed up ready to rip Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Well, Lord, I'm super stoked for today. It's going to be pretty crazy because we have the pay per view and the huge live crowd. There's going to be so many people watching. I'm just, I'm so excited to throw down a big burnout for everybody today. Woo! Ready to get another set. Oh, yeah. All right, everyone, since the last tires only last about 56 seconds, we went ahead and picked up a set of trailer tires, stiffer sidewall, thicker beads. Hopefully, they'll hold together a little longer. Plus, these are 205 75 15s. Other tires were 205 55 15. So, this has about five inches longer rollout. So, every time around, we get about five inches longer of contact patches. That should really help us out. Hopefully, we can go about a minute 45 here today to put on a real good show for the pay per view and everything else here at Cletus and Cars. My man. Ooh, the banana shirt. Gangster gangster. Yeah, I, told you I, would. I love it. <laughs> First look at the pad here at the Freedom Factory, and it's a big one. This thing is massive, so it's going to be pretty crazy. Got a good little tip in spot right here. We're going to send it out in there. Just a big square, no little dog legs or anything today. Uh, so we just got to kind of figure out a plan to try to shoot out across there. High speed tip in, and then work each of the corners of the pad. Maybe I'll work like a little X or something. We'll try that and see how it plays to our favor, hopefully. So I'm really glad we got some bigger tires because if not, if they went that quick, we'd barely be able to cover even half this thing. So we're gonna need some time out there. So I need to just definitely tip in, have a great tip in. My plan is to just go as fast as I can. It's great that we have this big wide open spot, try to land somewhere over there kind of near that corner and then just start working our way around. But this pad is massive. So it's gonna be definitely a game changer for this one. The Freedom Factory is insane too. They got bleachers there there they're gonna let people stand around here and then you got the whole main grandstand so it's gonna be so awesome doing this burnout right here in front of all these people usually your pads about half this you got three of those bleachers now we got this whole massive facility and fans i bet it's gonna be insane today Kyle from the booster boys getting ready to do some burnouts today with this thing hell yeah this thing is badass we've got the big intercooler and everything on it with twins Got the rotary life over here, Fargus Brothers and the Mystery Machine. These things are so loud and crazy. I do want to build something with the rotary in it at some point. But if Brent's ripping this thing again today, which I'm pretty sure he is, that's going to be it's going to be a killer burnout, I'm sure. This little truck is nasty too. Nice drifter rods brought out this sick Chevelle to do some burnouts today. Yeah, that's going to be cool. S10 crew is out here repping. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Crowd's starting to show up. Guys, this facility is going to be amazing for doing burnouts. It's sick. You got all the stands there. Then people can stand up along here. And then in the stands, tons of perfect viewing for the pad. Basically, the way we're judging it is based on three things. Burnout smoke being the first one. So that's initial smoke, continuous smoke. You know, you gotta keep it going. If you stop and your smoke clears, you're gonna lose points. Driver skill, that's using the whole burnout pad. You know, not doing figure eights, actually like going to each corner, doing donuts, driving around, maybe a wall tap if you're feeling sporty. Overall performance, so you know, that, that plays into the level of your car, it's loudness, the ability to really rip it, all that good stuff. All right, everyone, so they're getting ready to do the open burnout comp. We got them lining up behind us. Can't wait to see these guys rip, and then we'll get into burnout rivals here in just a little bit. Pretty sick truck that showed up. Big block with a big blower. This thing's gonna be rowdy. Can't wait to see this thing rip. Bernie needs a blower. What do you guys think? Bernie needs a blower? Should we put one on there? What do you think? Yeah, I think he does. April says two thumbs up. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's 
just take a minute and look at this freaking crowd. This is amazing. They're running the open comp right now. Got a bunch of different vehicles in here. A little bit of everything. So cool. So freaking cool. Oh no, casualty. Burnout truck down. Burnout truck down. Sending it today. This is awesome. Woo! Watching everybody out there sliding around, and in Houston, we didn't have the greatest steering out there, so I'm actually taking a screwdriver, cleaning off all the excess rubber out on the edges to try to get to a good tire. So hopefully, we got a little bit of grip. It's just not like rolling over on itself. 45 minutes later and at least we can see the tire now uh, guys burnouts are not for the faint of heart check this out oh man but uh, also check out this ram truck this thing is sick got a, got a little sunburn but still need a ram truck in my life that thing is built getting close to burnout time bottles in it april's gonna do a test for me on it Go grab the truck, get it up here, and get ready to send it. Ready to rip this thing again, I'm ready dude? To rip it. You ready yeah, to rip today? Dude, I'm ready. Put We're gonna crush show, it, bro. Dude. Yeah. Send I can't it, wait, man. I'm gonna send and go fast on the uh, tip in again. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little faster. <laughs> See what it'll hold up. Out. Yeah. Nice. I love it.
I broke something real bad. Oh. It's a broke it. Yeah, real bad. I missed it. Oh, I destroyed it. Damn it. Why did you do that? Broke the tranny. Yeah, I heard it. Damn it. Well, I got stuffed up against the wall and I was pissed. So I sent it backwards and. I know I shouldn't, but I was trying to put on a show. I don't want to stop right there, but damn, that didn't work, guys. I didn't go I wanted. Sometimes they don't, I guess, unfortunately. Pretty sure it broke something major in the tranny. Felt the tranny diaper. Thank goodness I was on there. I actually felt it hit the floor or something. You see, it's all bowed right there on the floor. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. It's not what we came down here to do. Pissed that I got stuffed up against the wall. It was going good up until that point, and then it's a bad deal. Shouldn't have put it in reverse, that's stupid. Pretty sure it gutted everything in the transmission. Really, really bad. There you go, boys. Idiot. Gosh, dang it.
you said don't do reverse burnouts, and that's exactly what I did. I gutted the tranny because of it, dude. I told you, dude. I even I, put a freaking video your out. Your boss took a video. Said, hey, no. Don't do reverse burnouts in all caps, and look at what you did, dude. I, it was in my head. I was like, he even said, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But I was so mad. So I yeah. just was like, no, it's out of me. I was like, frick. So it happened. Oh, dude. well. Thank Thanks, you guys dude. for coming. Till the Amazing next one, event. dude. So Amazing. freaking crazy. Insane crowd for just burnouts. Yeah. U.S. Burnout Con, dude. U.S. Burnouts, dude, on the rise. Insane. All right, thanks, thanks dude. Appreciate it, guys. See ya. Well, everybody, not the ending to Cletus cars that I wanted. We were on such a good roll with burnouts. Uh, went in, tipping was awesome. I think I was getting ready to, I wanted to work the other corner of the pad. For some reason this truck's not steering in the pad uh that's why i cleaned the tires open i'd get better steering out of it and i just worked myself into the corner i know you're not supposed to do burnouts in the corner i also know you're not supposed to put the truck in reverse and back up during burn so i probably should have just parked it there uh and blew up both tires but i wanted to put on a better show than that for the crowd threw in reverse was not happy because i had to put it in reverse and got a little aggressive when i started backing up trying to swing it around and heard a big bang, uh, felt the tunnel in the truck move. Uh, thank goodness for the transmission blanket as it probably saved my legs and caught the tranny and busted the bell housing. It's bad. Uh, we'll get it home, back to Colorado, 28 hours we gotta go. Uh, drive back home and then we'll get the truck, you know, in the garage and we'll pull the tranny out and we'll hopefully, hopefully some stuff salvageable out of the, out of it and uh, Hopefully it's not an extremely expensive repair to get a new tranny put in this thing. It needs a new converter anyway, so we'll do that at the same time. But uh, I appreciate all you guys on the ride, and we can't always win them. We can't always crush them. Sometimes we're learning, and that's what we're doing here. And I appreciate every one of you. A lot of new people jumping in on the channel, too, and I appreciate all of you guys hitting that subscribe button and, you know, supporting us and what we do. We love the burnout stuff, and it's only the beginning. This, this event was incredible. The amount of people that were here and just all it was today was a burnout competition and that's amazing to see that much support australian all the australian fans i know you guys love the burnouts so i didn't do you guys very good this time i, I got stuck and uh, i guess it probably happens now I, now i know do not do burnouts reverse i mean cleet even said it two videos ago do not do reverse burnouts and uh, i didn't listen and i broke some stuff so fortunately guys that's, that's where we're going to end it. We're going to head back to Colorado, get this thing fixed so we can pop some more tires. Unfortunately, Bernie didn't get any pop this time. Pretty bummed, but I mean, I'm out here popping tires and doing burnouts, so I can't be can't be too sad about it, right? It's a pretty amazing thing that we got going on here, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But until next time, I appreciate every one of you for watching. I'll see you soon.